It's been a long time since we've been in a setting much like this, uh, having a training camp. I think I speak for everyone when I say it's nice to be back in, in this kind of atmosphere, in this setting. As far as camp goes, uh, it's an important time for every team. But I think it's even more important for our team. You look around the room, there's a lot of new faces. We need to come together as a group and, and really embrace the work ahead of us. Uh, we know there's going to be some tough days. There's going to be some teaching days and some days off. Uh, but enjoy it and again, embrace, embrace the work that we have to do and let's, and let's be ready to go when we start. There you go, there you go. Good job, good job. That way. Here. All right, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Hey There's a lot of things that we're focusing on. We usually start the first part of practice with five or six quick drills that are they get their heart rate going a little bit, get their legs going, and then we go into some structure stuff, especially the second half of that practice. We're working a lot of D-zone coverage and, and certain parts of our game that we want to make sure we're better at in this year. And uh, there's a skating test at the end. That yeah, was tough. I mean, it's just, um, you know, classic uh, you know, Travis Green training camp. It's never going to be easy, and I think it's great for us to, you know, right off the bat to get going right away, and uh, all the guys look great today. Uh, it was a tough one but uh, we knew that coming in right. And uh, I mean, I haven't been doing a lot of 40s uh, on dice uh, before this, but uh, uh, it was a good practice. I, I think it was a good, good pace and, uh, and the guys were working really hard. So that's, that's all we were looking for. So that was a good, good start. You want to do like half moon or anything? Or we'll get we'll get the pail here. Pods. Pods. For that bucket, yeah. I like the reverse psychology here. Offside by a mile. If we could slide, that'd be great. Oh, we're down. That went hogs. Good gap, sides. On ya, on ya. Good to kind of get back into game reads. I think that's, uh, you can practice it all you want and do two on two, three on three, four on four, but I think once you start to get back into the flow of an actual game, I think that's, that's when you start to be able to kind of grow and develop and actually work on some stuff. So that was fun to get out there and guys were, uh, compete was high, so it was fun. Feels good to be back, obviously. Yesterday's a tough one. Um, and the scrimmage today felt pretty good. Um, good to kind of get back and swing things over too. Play Lockie. All grinder. Baby, good job. What's up boys? How about you taking this?
thought the first period was good. Slowed down a little bit in the second period, which uh, is probably to be expected. But uh, it's been a good, good three days for our group. I think you could see it as kind of getting a little, you know, a lot of checks out there and uh, guys getting into it. So it's good to see. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be competitive for a lot of guys, and um, to see that out there uh, and just in these scrimmages is awesome. And um, that should carry over to our preseason games. You know, I think Hogs, Hogs knows the type of player he needs to be, and he, he kind of knows our systems now, so he's familiar and he's not messing up drills. So uh, that's that's pretty big for Hogs. So, um, you know, <laughs> I, I guess that's probably the biggest difference is he's not <laughs> making us go again. <laughs> Tonight, the Canucks ice a more experienced roster as they welcome the Flames to the Fraser Valley. It's the Vancouver Canucks and the Calgary Flames. NHL preseason hockey is on the air, live from Abbotsford Center in Abbotsford, B.C. Larson, right side Connor Garland, top of the circle, delays with a toe drag and a wrist shot blocked by Valimaki, then he shoots again and scores! The initial shot was blocked, but Connor Garland follows up and the Canucks get a power play goal to take a 1-0 lead, 2.38 into the first. Well, right off the top, 2.38 into Connor Garland's first game. He does exactly what we heard he does well. for Tanner Pearson, left wing, shoots and scores. Tanner Pearson fires it in under the crossbar from off the rush. And the Canucks go ahead by two, it's four to two with 6.29 left in the third. I thought it was a good hockey game all the way around. Um, had a real strong first period. Uh, I thought offensively we got a little loose. Uh, and when I say that, I, I thought we defended well in the second, but I thought we, we weren't as direct in the second period. We had some shots from the outside with no one at the net, and I thought we got back to it on, in the third. 